okay welcome to the next video now that we have the view model uh, the next step is to set up our local database okay so do not waste uh, our time with it. I will just start by creating uh, our interface okay our DAO okay we call it phrase DAO this is an object is an object okay phrase DAO oh sorry in an abstract class That's crazy okay Call it DAO. Sorry, it is an interface. Okay. I need to rest. <laughs> Sorry. It is a phrase DAO, is an interface. So for now, we just, we will gonna have uh, two simple methods, two simple functions. Okay. Like insert. This will be for insert a new phrase in our database, okay, in our room database, and here we need to to call the insert, okay. We need to decorate to decorate it. Oh insert okay rom is very simple okay it's very it's very easy to use okay so with these two lines of code the our phrase okay our parameter will be inserted in the, on database okay very simple like this the next thing that we need is to is the query okay we will fresh we will fetch all the data so with no restric restrictions okay with no filters Sorry, my English is really bad anyway we need the query color the select how okay from actually we need to decorate our data class okay we need to call to decorate with entity okay we can change the that the table name but I don't even need this I will just I will just say that my ID will be or should be auto incremented so uh, primary key okay first I need to say that this ID is the primary key okay and the auto generated set to true okay with this this parameter here okay this parameter set to true i didn't i i don't need to to pass or i don't need to give an id for every phrase created so room database will take care to generate incremented id okay auto generated id for us okay it's very simple to use like this so what we need now i think that here we're done we can change the table name okay just come here and say that my table name will be like okay my table names will be let me think phrases okay just phrases table okay so if you don't give the table name 
Room database will use the default class name, okay, as your as your table name. So don't worry. The the room database is smart enough to detect when you want a new table name or not. Okay, so this table name here I will use here for to fetch all the phrases okay like phrases table name okay you can see that the table name passed here they have to detect that this is a table name okay is the room database table name so if I remove this like let me try to remove this and the table name that will appear here is the is the class name okay phrase okay you can see if I try to write phrase table this will give me an error okay so I will left leave the phrases table okay and here pass the phrases table select from select the hall from phrases table okay so I don't need uh, any more query so I, we give we need to write our function that will be uh, get all okay that will return a list of phrases okay that's it our phrase DAO is ready to use okay we don't have any work here I can close and phrase it DAO I think it's done for now okay so next we need to create the phrase the phrase database okay I will call just my my database it is a class okay the the room database okay should be an abstract class okay that you should decorate it with the database sorry the database and you need to pass here some classes, some entities, and your version, your database version code. Okay. So entities will be uh, will be the models. Okay. So in case you have many models here, you can just pass all the models in your entities okay in case we just have one model so I can I can pass it here okay so phrase class dot Java oh, it is array like why I'm missing something okay uh, sorry I think that is the array of okay this is a key class let's simplify simplify this okay so the database version okay we need to provide the version of our current database we'll just press it to one okay this is the very first version so every time you update your entities you need to update your version code okay like for now uh, our database our our phrase entity have just two properties okay 
so in the f next uh, in the future if you add uh, if you had some some new property you need to come here and increase your database version okay but for now we go and we give uh, the one as our database version so what we need to do next is to provide uh, the phrase DAO okay after you pass your entities here and the version you need to have a function that will return okay that this function will return our phrase DAO okay get phrase DAO okay or you can just Say that phrase DAO that will return a phrase DAO. Okay. This function is abstract. Okay, should be abstract. So this this function is the is the this is the way. So this is the this will provide you the access to write and get the data from your database okay it's like the way you you get an instance of your phrase dial and then you will be able to write and get your data so now we we need a constructor okay private late in it var okay instance <laughs> we need we will create the we need to create the singleton pattern here okay so her database showed the we, we need to we need to use just a one instance for for our that her database okay so we need the singleton instance singleton pattern to create a single instance and just use that instance for each application application process okay so this instance will be of type my database okay this can be null and the first time it will be no just to remove and we need to create a fan here and say that get instance instance okay we need a context okay and that will return my database so we return here the instance okay will never be no okay so if if instance equals to null our instance will be equals to wrong we use the database builder to create an instance of our database okay we need to pass the first parameters context okay we have a context here we just need to pass then the database okay the abstract database class that is the current class we name my database so need to pass it my database okay then we, we need we will what we need to provide is the database name okay so I will just call I will just call uh, 
phrases, database, okay? And here we need to return the uh, what's going wrong. Uh, it is a class, you know, so what's going wrong? I really don't know. Let me see. Contest class. Ah, okay. This is getting an uh, error because my database class don't uh, extend. Okay, don't don't extend from room database. Okay, so to solve this, we just need to here and the room and say that extend from room database. Increase the error, but we just need to call build. Okay, also, uh, I like to for for this simple application, I will allow the room database to write. Okay, to make access from. UI thread, okay. I will just say that hello, mind thread queries, okay. With this line, okay, we will be capable to use our room version in our activity without, okay, without phrasing our screen, okay. So we have our database ready, okay, ready to use. In the next video, we will use this database to access it and set the data, load all phrases from our view model. Okay. So, see you in the next video.